Well, something very different. Thank you, Mrs. H. That's a plant uh, in that um, um, planter there, which he's got from the some house plants and some from the garden. And uh, that'll go by the front door once we finish the shave. So, uh, very nice. Okay, so happy Sunday to you. Welcome to the shave then, to the shave. Looking forward to this. A new soap um, and a new aftershave. Oh, and a new priest shave soap that I'm going to try. Um, but firstly, thank you to Mark from uh, GM Vlogs Shave. GM Vlogs Spice and Shave. Thank God, then, Mark Shaver. Thank you so much. He used a product the other day, Shetland Soap Company. And uh, I think at the moment, I think they've got two, I could be wrong, but I think they've got two soaps um, available in shaving. They sell other stuff as well, but uh, um, Norseman, cedar and black pepper. Now, what's special about this? And I jumped on this straight away. I love anything like this. The, have a look at the packaging. It came beautifully packaged. And then um, one thing I like to, there's the card it comes with. And it's um, soap company, they work alongside adults with learning disabilities to produce a range of handmade soaps and skincare products inspired by the beauty of their islands, the Shetland Islands, beautiful place. Um, and there's some of the people, uh, you know, with learning dif disabilities and stuff like that. And absolutely fantastic. They've been established 2002. So this is their 20 year anniversary. So if anybody's watching from there, congratulations. Looking forward to this. So this is the soap. That's, isn't that lovely? That's like a beautiful. So I'm going to lather from this. It's a very glossy sort of glycerin type soap looks so uh straight away wood cedar wood beautiful woody scent i don't get pep my my nose some people pick up the pepper maybe and i think uh, mark said there's a slight bit of leather to it yeah i can, can get the leather and the wood really nice sort of um old scent beautiful scent from the puck brush um is it a garada or something they call this on there? This the uh, the Yaki 24mm uh, tuxedo synthetic knot. I'll put on the screen here what it's called. I keep forgetting to call it. It's a lovely brush, small razor. This is a bit of a mixer, botch, botch job. <laughs> it's just an Ed, Ed, Edwin Jagger head, standard head, but the handle's different. It's a scotch and stow, if you can see there. Uh, this was gifted to me very kindly. Uh, a very heavy, short handle, thick, short handle, diamond knurling, very, very heavy. Uh, so if you like heavy and short, you'd love it. But you can put any head on it, can you, like I have there. So that's what we're going to use today. Blade is going to be the Derby Premium. One of these, brand new. But I've pinched this idea. You know, we've been trying different soaps, hand soaps and shaving, pre-shaves. So, so I seen Uncle L shaves, uh, Laurie, if you're watching, pinch this from you. This isn't the soap he uses. He uses an Australian black um, charcoal activated soap as a pre-shave in every shave he does. And I seen this stuff, African black soap. It's a hand soap. It's a uh, all naturals skin care. It's actually made in Egypt. Uh, sorry, Israel, is it? So I've seen this somewhere, haven't I? Made in Israel, yeah. So, but it's a lovely scented soap. It came with three bars, and this is it here. So I'm going to try it as a just as a pre-shave to. As I say, I can smell a bit of coconut in that. So it's um, very nice. So we'll wet the face and get going. I'm not saying that this needs a pre-shave, this uh, shaving soap, but it's nice just to be different, isn't it? The more prep you can do, pre-washing and cleaning, always ends better, really. So that's, that's enough for now. 
it's not a pre-shave shaving soap it's a it's a hand soap washing soap mild scent but it's a lovely scent feels very slick actually could shave with it probably but it just prepares the skin and the whiskers and it cleans the face and that'll do you have a good weekend now we'll use this old towel i hope so right so we'll clean up Get rid of that. We'll wet the um, we'll wet the brush. And we'll get going. I love the look of the soap. Yeah, fantastic idea that. I like to support anything. Really nice. So I'll just do this, the usual thing, I'll gather on the brush and then we'll go straight to the face. That's a nice soap that. Be good in the shower, isn't it? That'll do us. Lovely. You can always go back to it. This smells gorgeous. This is a a very old classic scent of something. It reminds me, look at that beautiful soap. Um, reminds me of something all the time. It does my head in. Right. Oh, got to get it. Mm. I know Mark, if you're watching, um, you've, got, you've got the other soap, I mean, the other fragrance. You've ordered this, I think, you said. And uh, I think you'll like it. Lovely scent. That's good. That is nice. We can always go back to the pack. Let's see if we uh, take any pimples off. We'll heat the um, hang on, put the blade in. Right? Come on, come on, Paul. Wake up! You're too excited. There we go. Derby Premium. The blade. So here we go, first pass. Good slickness. Quite audible. The blade feels slightly more aggressive than my sort of usual go to's. But very smooth. And uh, you can hear it singing.
very heavy razor. Nice, I like them, I like heavy razors. Anyway, so far so good. Lots of whiskers there. Let's clear that up. That's lovely. That was kind of thick pasty lather, so we'll make it slightly wetter now to see how it uh, how it does. So we'll add a slight bit of water to that. So lathering, there's no effort, it's a hard soap. Mild scented, but beautiful. Really, uh, as I say, it's a woody. Now you mentioned leather, yeah, leathery, woody. And it, again, it reminds me of a a scent from moons ago, classic, a very nice scent. Here we go, across the cross. Sunday dinner, well, it's not, it's not going to be... Actually, later on, myself and Mrs H, we're heading out to a sort of a small YouTube wet shavers meter. Uh, nothing official. It's just um, there's a shaver. He's come from down south. He's I think he's down south, but he's on holiday in North Wales. So he said it'd be nice to meet a few of us. Um, and Mark was meant to be coming. But with the uh, transportation issues, he won't be at in attendance. We're going to film uh, and my car. My car is in in the garage having work done. And that'll be ready Monday. Well, it's no good Mondays, so we're using Mrs H's car or our other car. And that's a two-seater, so... Anyway, I'll film a bit of a clip of it or whatever. Um, Um, there's me, I think CB Shaves, Chris is going, and it's um, it's Gary it is, Gary, Mr G Shaves, and he's, I think he's with his wife and they've been on holiday here, so they're on their, I think they're on their way home today, so just to meet up, have a coffee, have a chat, a couple of photos, a bit of video maybe, so I'll probably enter a clip of it in them, the, oh lovely slickness now, that's nice. Well, well done, Shetland Soap Company. Never heard of them before. It's amazing, isn't it? You think you've seen it all, know it all. Well, not know it all or something. You've seen it all. Or well, you know all the the companies that make soaps. So. No, we don't. Okay. Yeah, so uh, just a touch more water. Nice little brush this. As you can see now, I'm not going back to the puck, adding a bit more water is getting thinner. But uh, very nice. Yeah, so the dinner situation, we're going to be heading off after the meetup to see um, one of Mrs. H's family because uh, she's from that area. Um, big farming family in Snowdonia and they own a lot of land around the Snowdonia range and all that sort of stuff so we're going to see against the growth now we're going to see one of them so we may have something uh, there but if not I've got um because it depends what time we go you see 
but if not I've got some uh, well a few choices I've got gammon I've got belly pork and I'll just knock up um, some sort of roast potatoes probably the belly pork probably roast potatoes and uh, Oh, pork chops like a anyway pork roast potatoes a few mashed potatoes and like no roast potatoes pork peas and gravy probably but instead of having it lunchtime i'll have it until dinner time or tea time as we know it or if you're a farmer supper time six o'clock is Seven o'clock. Really nice. I love the scent of it. As I say, it's a mild scent, not strong. But it's um, a woody seed wood. I don't get the pepper, but I do get the, now it's been mentioned, a sort of leathery woody scent. Lovely. Really nice. It reminds me of a classic, like I say. Have I caught there? Mm. That's really nice. Slickness is good, residual. Yeah, very nice. Three, two, one, pick up time, baby. Yeah, this this boss is getting fed up with these neck braces now. So I, have to, I might have to retire it because I get the sack. I won't be in work today. You what? No. <laughs> I won't be in work today. Why not? But I'll be in Tuesday and I'll work double hours to be necking. Argue with that, you swine. Right, here we go. Do not say that to your boss. I think I have caught a little uh, weeper there. Listen to this. That's the sound of the angels kissing your skin as a wet shape. Yeah, I'm sorry, um Gary, I'm not a Best welcome weather-wise, we've had all these storms and all sorts of stuff. At least you've seen Wales in its wildest form. Beautiful. Cold water rinse. Cold water. Nice, nice welcome by the door, that one. Eh? 
If you see that by the front door, it gives a knock. I'll do you some roast potatoes, seasoned, of course. You can have a choice of some belly pork, pork chop, um, gravy, peas. <laughs> right, Humphrey's sandalwood, which I made with hazel. And I'm doing it back to front because I want the fragrance to last because we're going out. Okay. First of all, we're using the moisturiser first. This is the Nivea, the new line, Nivea Men Fresh Kick. Um, we'll just have a little dab will do you. Hmm, did catch you, know? I keep looking here, but that's a, a pimple because because when you wet shave like this, you turn back into a teenager, and you and who has they said uh, you might even get nappy right? <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> the only thing I wouldn't like is going back to school. I wouldn't. Right. Are you ready for this? We better put your top hats over this now. We're using very posh now. Versace. There you go. Versace blue jeans. Lovely scent. Uh, always wanted to try it. So I treated them so. Mrs. H likes this as well. So that's the tin it comes in. I like stuff like that. And a very nice look. It dropped it. A very nice looking bottle. There you go. And you pull. Oh, it's a spray, isn't it? Yeah. Um, I'll tell you what, I'm going to spray it on. Ready? Go. Slight tingle. Oh, I love that scent. And it's one of those, again, after a few minutes, it will, it, the scent gets better. Am I going on? The scent gets better. You know, really nice. Mrs. H, that's nice. That's a winner for me. So we've used standard head and base plate. This is an Edwin Jagger type uh, standard aggression. But the handle is thick, it's heavy, and it's a scotch and stow handle. I can't even see which, if it's right the way around or whatever, that way or that way. Um, very nice, short and sweet. We've used this uh, Gerard, yeah, this... Uh, Yaki 24mm Tuxedo Synthetic Knot Garada, something like that. I put it on the screen earlier. And a really nice brush. And this is the special guest in this one. The Shetland Soap Company Norseman. Excellent. Mild scent, but a beautiful scent. Easy to lather. Um, I didn't have to go back to the pack. There was enough for the full three passes and the pickups. Gorgeous scent and good residual slickness. Really nice, and you're supporting these wonderful people here. People with learning disabilities. Fantastic, I love anything like that. We've used the Derby Premium uh, Blade, brand new, lovely. It's a bit more aggressive than a Wilkinson Sword Persona Red. Them are my go-tos in case you wonder why I was going about them. Those are the standard for me, working everything. And you can only work that out by using different razors with those blades over months and years. And I found those are my go-tos. And I then I, when I use blades, different blades, I, I compare them to those for me. But each blade is different and that felt slightly more aggressive but very smooth and efficient. And we we'll use this black, the African black soap as a pre-shave, lovely soap. There's a few scents in that, but the main one I can smell is coconut. Really nice. And uh, what else we use? Welsh water to rinse. Humphrey's sandalwood witch hazel, which I made, add in some essential oil. We did it back to front. We've used the Nivea Men Fresh Kick. That's lovely stuff. 
And then we've used, do you mind? Thank you very much. We've used the Versace um, blue jeans, the aftershave, isn't it? It is aftershave. Oh no, EDT, at eau de toilette, no, it's nice. EDT, <laughs> lovely, very nice. And that is it, I'll leave you to it. Thank you very much, gotta get ready now and head out. So have a great weekend, have some fantastic shaves if you haven't any. And um, I've bought a vintage-ish uh, razor I've wanted to try for a long time. I bought it really for my collection. But I'm going to try and shave with it probably Wednesday. We'll see how it goes. Uh, I'll do one shave with it, then I'll put it away. Um, it's not a it's not a usual razor, shall we say? I'll, you'll see why. But um, I'm glad I got it. Uh, at a good price, eBay. Right. All the best. Have a great weekend. Thanks for your support. F for the comments. Uh, as I say, I'm going out, so I may not answer them today, but I will look through them during the week and um, reply when I can. But have a great week, stay safe and uh, all the best and bye bye.